<clears throat> Hello, my name is Gary Davis. This is another episode of the Do-It-Yourself Clinic, and today we are going to upgrade a TiVo Premier hard drive to increase the recording capacity from about 47 hours of high-def programming to about 317 hours. And this is done by replacing the 380 gigabyte hard drive with a 2 terabyte hard drive. So, let's get started. Okay, this is the uh, television and in the cabinet is the TiVo that we will be upgrading. The TiVo is the component on the top, making it easier to remove. So, let's look and see what we have in our TiVo. Okay, so this is showing 47 hours. I have 84 percent of my hard drive used up with recorded shows. Okay, here's the back of the TiVo. Uh, we'll have to unscrew the screws that hold the cover on the case. There's a screw there. One, two, three, looks like four. Now the tool to open those screws is a Torx uh, bit, Torx 10, and that will fit in just right fine. Okay, the four screws holding the fan in place, those can stay put. Let's see if this will come out easy. And yes, it does. Easier than earlier TiVos. Now, let's look at the hard drive. This will uh, have to be unscrewed from the sled that holds it four screws. So let's do that next. Okay, connectors, the SATA and power connectors are connecting to the hard drive. And now we have the hard drive and the slit. And there are four more screws to come out. Now those look okay. The same Torx bit will take those out too. And it's a rail. Second row. Okay, this is Western Digital 3200, so it's 320 gigabytes. Green power. And we will be replacing this with a terabyte, two terabyte drive, but we have to copy all the shows from this drive onto the other drive, and then we can install that one. And the way to do that is with a util utility built by uh, Someone on the TiVo community, uh, Kammer is his ID, and uh, we'll, we'll boot that up to do the copy. So let's get started with that part. Okay, we're going to use this uh, PC computer to do the clone of the two of of the original hard drive to the new hard drive. You can use a Mac. Uh, I've I've been told. I'm a PC guy, so what I'm going to do is remove the cover, and these are the two hard drives. This is the original, this is the new two terabyte hard drive, 
and I'm going to connect using a SATA a serial connection and uh, this can be done with a USB if you're using a laptop perhaps and don't have the, the SATA connection but you would need a dock or two of these and the, the dock allows you to stick in your hard drive and connect it through a USB connection. It's slower than the SATA so I'll go with the SATA option since I have that. So it's just a matter of connecting the connectors. There's a uh, data connection and a power connection. I only have one free power and data so I'm going to take the power and data off of another drive and just use that one temporarily because I will not be booting up Windows. I'll be booting up the tool from the hard drive, I mean from the, the CD that was burned to contain those tools. I have both drives connected. The tool is JMFS revision 1.04. Comer. Uh, it's an ISO you can download. I'll have the link on my uh, notes to the video. And we'll power up, put this in the drive, and boot up from, from that. See the penguins indicating Linux is the operating system. Okay, now it's asking me to type C to copy, E expand. Z supersize, X exit, S shutdown. And it describes the copy expand and supersize and what they will do. So I'm interested in doing the copy at this point. Would you like to use it as the source? That's the 3200. Uh, for copy, this drive will not be modified. It will only be read. Yes, that is the source. Drive number from the list for the target. And it looks like we want number three, which is a WD20 EARS. 2,000 gigabytes. So, three. Are you sure you're about to copy from the WD3200 to the WD20 EARS? And the answer is yes. Okay, it says copying. Okay, it's about three hours later and the copy has completed and it's asking would you like to expand the drive now? I'll say yes. Now it says you are about to expand. Are you sure? Yes. 
expanding. So this is before free was 7 gig and after free is 1.5 terabytes. So R to ret return to choose another operation. Detecting disks. Okay, we've done the copy and the expand. So next is the supersize. So type Z. The following TiVo drives have been detected the WD3200 and the WD20, which is number two. Number two is the one. Which would you like to supersize? This drive will be modified and then you will use it in your TiVo. Number two. You are about to supersize slash dev slash SDB, which is the second drive. It shows the size is two terabytes. 2,000 gigabytes. Are you sure? Yes. Supersizing. Okay. Successful. We are done. So let's exit and shut down. So that's the S. Okay. Next step is to disconnect the drive from the TiVo, the old, old drive, which is the 320 gig drive. And I'll leave the two terabyte drive in place. And we'll boot up the F tool, the feature tool from Hitachi that will allow us to set the acoustic mode to 128. Press A to agree to the license, and it will detect our drive. Okay, now we cursor down to the selected the drive that we are interested in uh, updating its acoustic level, and that's our WD-20, so I cursor down until I find it. Here it's number four. Okay, now the, the features, get to the features with the Alt-F, change acoustic level, or I could have hit Alt-A, that's the one we want, the first entry. Current settings, D, for disable, E, enable recommended value, or the third one is an N to enable and then let you set the value. We're going to go with the recommended value, so type E, and in fact this one's already set because I ran this utility before. And the recommended value is 128. The cursor's uh, showing quiet. And hit the O for OK. Successfully enabled. Press OK. And now we're done, Alt-X. Do you want to exit this program? Yes. Next we'll do the WDiddle 3.